Once upon a time, there lived a beautiful princess named Snow White. She had skin as white as snow, lips as red as roses, and hair as black as ebony. Snow White lived with her stepmother, the queen, who was very vain, and jealous of Snow White's beauty. Every day, the queen would ask her magical mirror, 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 on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And the mirror would always reply, you are the fairest one of all, my queen. One day, however, when the queen asked her usual question, the mirror gave a different answer. My queen, you are fair, it is true, but Snow White is fairer than you. The queen was furious. She became consumed with jealousy, and ordered her huntsman, to take Snow White deep into the forest, and kill her. The poor huntsman loved Snow White, and could not bring himself to harm her. Instead, he told her to run away, and never return to the castle. Scared and alone, Snow White ran deep into the dark forest. She ran until her feet could no longer carry her. Exhausted, she stumbled upon a tiny cottage in a clearing. Peering through the window, she saw that it was very messy, but there was no one home. Snow White was so tired, that she went inside, and fell into a deep sleep, across seven small beds. Little did she know, the cottage belonged to seven dwarfs, who worked in a nearby mine. Later that evening, the seven dwarfs returned home, from a long day of mining in the mountains. As they entered their cottage, they were shocked to find everything, in disarray. Someone has been sitting in my chair, cried Grumpy, the grumpiest of the dwarfs. Someone has been eating from my plate, exclaimed Bashful, the shyest dwarf. One by one, the dwarfs noticed, that their belongings had been disturbed. Finally, they reached the bedroom, and gasped in surprise. There, lying across their seven tiny beds, was a beautiful girl fast asleep. Who could she be? whispered Sleepy, trying not to wake the mysterious stranger. Just then, Snow White opened her eyes, and saw the seven dwarfs staring at her. She was terrified at first, but the dwarfs had kind faces, and promised not to harm her. Snow White explained, how her stepmother, the queen, had tried to have her killed out of jealousy. The dwarfs felt sorry for the poor princess and invited her to stay with them as long as she needed. In return, Snow White agreed to cook, clean, and take care of the cottage, while the dwarfs were away at work. The seven dwarfs warned her, however, never to let anyone inside while they were gone, as the forest could be dangerous. For many days, Snow White lived happily, with her new friends. She sang while she worked, and the dwarfs loved, listening to her beautiful voice. But the happiness couldn't last forever.